first laid eyes on you. Um, I had no idea that God would bring us to this point in our lives where I'd be committing my life and love to you. There was no way I could have ever known and the incredible blessing and picture of his grace that you would be to me. But I thank him every day for the opportunity to love you and serve you as my now beloved wife. You are my suitable helper, as David has said, and you are my best friend. And because of you, uh, my life will forever be changed. Sean, I love you more than anything. <laughs> and I would do anything in this world for you. For this past year, you've become everything to me. My comforter, my best friend, my confidant, my one true love. I just wake up every day and I'm just so thankful for you. I'm thankful for your heart. You've been such an answer prayer to me and to my family. Just the way that you love others is me. It's the way that you serve people. It's just a beautiful demonstration of God's love for his church. It's the same love that you have consistently shown me throughout our relationship every day that makes you want to strive to be a better person. And with that, I'd like to offer you the following promises. So you ready for this? Yeah. All right. First one, here we go. I promise to always choose you over basketball. Always. And you might be sitting there thinking, what if, what if the Thunder in the finals? Or what if it's a church league championship? Yes. Even in those moments, I will choose you, babe. Best case, we experience those together, honestly. But I will choose you if it comes down to it. But uh, I promise to never throw a fit when you beat me at things. Even at Battleship, as that has happened in the past. I mean, even when my competitive nature tells me, you must have cheated. You had to have cheated. <laughs> I promise to raise our family in the fear of the Lord. I commit to you now that I will lift them up in prayer every day, um, even when the world and society tells us it's easier to do otherwise. I promise to lead you in a manner worthy of the gospel of Christ and to submit to you in my reverence for him. Um, even when you do not feel like being led, and I know those days will come because I know you're stubborn. <laughs> and finally, I promise to love you and serve you as Christ has loved to serve the church and the no conditions with this promise. In Ephesians 5.28, Paul tells husbands that they ought to love their wives as Christ has loved the church. And the word ought implies an everyday decision to love you. Liz, I'm telling you now that I will love you each and every day for the rest of our lives. And I will choose to love you each and every day for the rest of our lives. There's nothing that you could ever do or say to change that. with the laws of the state of Arkansas and with the blessing of God in this congregation I now declare that you are husband and wife and Sean if I were you I would kiss them. <laughs>